I, have you issued a, or do you intend to issue any kind of a statement in regards to two things? And I'm not asking you to, I'm just asking if you intend to, because of how hot, the, because honestly, there's only, to, in my mind and people that I represent, there's only one reason that this became the hot fiasco it did, and it was because of the commissioner. Okay, I think that if you had done your due diligence, which you did, in determining should we or should we not as NMSU have these shows here on campus, okay, um, yes, we all agree we would have preferred you to do the diligence and then have a meeting and try to find a solution. I think that in the course of that, it might have gotten not good, okay, but I think that adults could work that out. I think by the insertion of Commissioner Sykes, Blo boasting, bragging on that Dem page, which obviously the Dems watch our pages, we watch their pages. It's what you do in politics. And when she, as the head of the Dem party, and Commissioner Sykes, right there on her page, comes out and says what she says, and blows it up, then I try to have a peaceful lunch with her, and forgive me, but she cursed at me, dropping F-bombs like a Marine, about the people on my pages that were blowing it up, including threatening one of their, those people's jobs. And I have witnesses to that conversation. And this is a person that I've worked with for years. I think she is the best city commissioner we've got. Because city issues are rarely right-left issues. They're usually filling a pothole. So I don't want to see her go anywhere. Problem is, we start out the conversation and she's completely in Democrat mode. And there we go. So we have that. And then that very evening, she gets up on the stand She's on the, recorded in the minutes as saying, I don't have that much power to make him change his mind. I went to have a meeting, and I, and I went as a private citizen, is what she said. And you backed that up, actually. You said that she came as the Otero County Democratic Chair. She never identified herself as a city commissioner. Well, she told me she did that, too. But then she gave me her card and said, I'm, she said, I'm here as the Democratic Chair. She said, but she told you she was the city commissioner. Okay, so she told you she was city commissioner, but she said she was representing the Democrats. Yeah, I think so. Is that correct? Yeah. And, that, and that's fine. But so she had the conversation. Then she brags about how now she's influenced you to do that. But then in the meeting, so what she's saying on Facebook is one thing, okay? And isn't it horrible that Facebook has become the, you know, now everybody's getting busted for what they say out there. And then she says, but on the minutes, on Tuesday night, said specifically that you stopped her halfway through and said, I already gave these guys the prices, and they wouldn't pay it. So the gun shows aren't going to happen because they can't afford it. But she said that on the minutes, okay? So that becomes the political fiasco because I walk out of the meeting, and at 10 o'clock at night, I call my friend Eli on Tuesday night, and I said, Eli, I have one single question for you. Did you have a conversation of any kind at any time prior to where he gave you a price and you said no? And the answer was no. You didn't have that conversation. Right. So, so. We agreed on it already. We already did. 